Uh, my name is Joe Mornini, and I'm the Executive Director of Team River Runner. My motivation for being involved in both the organization Team River Runner and this event, um, the Virgin Islands uh, Leadership Clinic, uh, is to try to bring health and healing to wounded warriors and disabled veterans and their families. My name is John Schuld, and I'm the Program Director. Uh, well, my motivation is that I'm also a veteran. Uh, I was in the military from 1986 to 91. Uh, I was part of the invasion of Panama and I was in the Gulf War. And I met Team River Runner three years ago here on Cinnamon Bay. I uh, spent time with their program and was very inspired by what they do here. And uh, I just wanted to do more. Um, being able to be a part of this um, and, and watch other wounded warriors go through this program and, and watch them uh, improve and rehabilitate themselves um, has really, it's, it's motivated me to improve myself and, and to get healthy and you know, get out of the house. Team River Runner is, is truly a grassroots organization. The Kiata Kayak, the fundraiser that we have put together for the last couple of years, has uh, really been an inspiration not only to myself and the other folks that help organize it, but the veterans themselves. Uh, last year we had the opportunity to bring the veterans to St. John to see the outpouring of love and support from this community and it's just overwhelming and they're, they're able to take that information and that experience home and share it with other veterans and their families. Uh, today's activities, um, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to replicate, have another um, chaotic kayak race. Um, we're a, a paddling program. And so we brought a paddling event here to the island that we do every um, late summer uh, where the island you know, comes out and paddles and parties and has a good time and donates the funds for us to come back in late fall. Really hoping to help train um, other people to, to become staff within Team River Runner. We're very understaffed. Um, a lot of people can't believe that we've been able to come as far as we have since just starting carrying boats into Walter Reed every week to now being here and um, ha we'll probably have around 40 chapters across the country starting next year. Um, and that's almost completely volunteer run. One of the first guys that I helped teach how to paddle, um, he was at Walter Reed for about a year and ended up losing, um, he wanted his leg to be amputated but they wanted to see if any of the muscle would grow back. And since his family um, was far from Walter Reed, he asked me to be his caretaker during the surgery and that just felt awesome that we had that bond and connection and that um, made me realize how close you can get through programs like this. I would definitely encourage all vets no matter what disability or you know to to give it a shot and I'm sure you'll be encouraged by all the people associated with this organization. Well the philosophy behind the organization is veterans helping other veterans. My accomplishment is uh, going down a crazy river, which I didn't think I could, I could do, minus my legs, um, and I did it. There was, there was two other Vietnam vets there too, so that made me co more comfortable because we could relate. But then as days went on, everybody, you know, had a sense of being brothers. I feel like I've been in a rut for a few years and I needed to do something crazy. And, uh, but at, at the time, I just happened to be going to a VA hospital to get a basketball wheelchair and, and this organization was mentioned. So I made a few phone calls and the next thing I joined and uh, here I am. The future is bright if we can continue to grow as an organization, but still maintain that grassroots family atmosphere that you know really reaches and touches individuals on a, on a personal level. Today um, is more of a fun free day to break up all the chaotic, crazy paddling and snorkeling they're doing all week. Um, they're picking names out of, out of a bucket and um, that'll create their teams and do a really fun mini chaotic kayak race, which is our big fundraiser to get us down here and really the whole reason we're here. One of my proudest accomplishments for this organization was to uh, work with the community of St. John and put together 
this fundraiser, like I said, the St. John Chaotic Kayak, raise money for these guys and uh, create a self-sustaining program for them. And uh, so we've been doing that for the last two years, so I'm very proud of that. We've touched so many lives. Um, there are people in this country that have both been down here to the island and have taken part in our program nationally in, the, in Team River Runner around the country that um, feel it's been a life-changing event. Um, it's given them an opportunity to take on purpose. I think the big thing I would say is recovery and purpose. Um, we help um, wounded warriors, disabled veterans and their families kind of continue on that road to recovery. Um, and then we give them the opportunity, if they want to take part in that, to take on a purposeful lifestyle with us to go and touch other lives of, of wounded warriors, disabled veterans that are out there that can use our help and use our program to help them find the same kind of connection in life and in healing. I mean, what a, what better healing place than St. John? Um, what a community and, and what a beautiful location to come and to really drive home the whole idea of connection to the earth, um, to the ecosystem and to others, to the community. Uh, my motivation behind being involved in the organization in general, um, I helped volunteer since Team River Runner's inception in 2004. My dad is a Vietnam vet and he is a kayaker, so he kind of threw me into kayaking when I was young. Um, so it's, it's been really fun to see how far uh, this program's come. And I, I just have a love for the military and in kayaking, so it's a great fit. How participating here may help others in the future is to give them skills. Um, we want to give the uh, participants the skills and the ability um, and the uh, self-awareness of their own leadership style, uh, the dynamics of what a, a therapeutic paddling program can be. Um, I think if, we, if they can go back with a few more skills, a little bit more self-awareness, a little bit more understanding of their own leadership style or their own, what they want to do as a participant in Team River Runner, um, I think that's a really good takeaway from this. I've been able to build a social network, um, so I'm not sitting in the house anymore. Um, I really didn't realize what, how dark of a place I was in at the time, um, but looking back, I was not in a good place, and you know, I didn't have a social network. Now I have, I have several friends. I enjoy meeting the new soldiers. I enjoy watching them get in the boats, and I enjoy paddling most of all. So it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely, my biggest accomplishment is, is my health and, and the social network. I see, the, I see the organization growing exponentially, primarily because of all the veterans that are going to be coming back from Afghanistan and on Iraq. And um, I also see our organization becoming more of a consultant type of role for other organizations, uh, primarily that uh, are looking to do adaptive paddling. Well, hopefully um, other vets that aren't really doing much will come out and you know and attempt something like this you know and realize that it's a good thing but my goal is next year I want to I want to paddle the entire Grand Canyon go from I've never been in a boat before to I'm going to get on the Grand Canyon I'm going to run a class 5 river and, and to me that's that's where I want to be I think it's a great opportunity for them to experience the beauty and healing of St. John I, I, see, I see a lot of other wounded soldiers that are where I was and um, you know there's, there, there's some in the organization that, that I looked up to um, and that's why I stayed with it and that's why I am where I am. So I want to be that example and I want to be that mentor. And I, I just want to thank St. John and the community for embracing us. I think this is an island of, of love, um, Love City, and that uh, they're showing that by what they do, what you all do for us, you know, coming down here. I just. It, it makes me misty. Thanks very much.